we see the South as being privileged and we know there's poor pocket, pockets of uh, deprivation in the South. But generally when you go to London you can see the wealth. You can absolutely see and feel the wealth. You can't see and feel the wealth here. Doncaster Town Centre you'll not feel and see the wealth either. It's an absolutely depressed area and Doncaster is surrounded by villages like this. They've been given a vote and they've put two fingers up at the establishment. That's what they've done. They've said we've had enough and we want change. It can't get any worse for us. You know, job losses. We've had 40 years of job losses and I don't think the South understands the decimation in these areas and they're putting this racist narrative out that it's about racism, it's about class division. You, you know, they're calling, me, they're calling me right wing. There's no, no greater right wing institution than EU. And as for racists, they shut the borders and let the migrants drown in the sea. I don't know the actual turnout in this area, but it was really high. My polling station, they said they'd never seen out like it. Um, people and young people coming out to vote, but they voted for change. You know, they've had enough of be, being battered down, they've had enough of being lighter. These people in these areas don't want a life of just drugs and unemployment. Uh, we're known about the result of the uh -huh. EU referendum and how people voted. How did you vote? Out. I voted out. Can you tell us why you voted out? The main reason I voted out was because immigration was one factor. Yeah. That they need to sort that out. It's beyond a joke. It doesn't affect them because of the areas they live in. But back where we live in Birmingham, it's just awful. Um, you just get a bit of control back in this country. I mean, all the industry has gone. There's no coal mines. It's destroyed areas like this. Decimated. We've worked here for a year, so I've seen what this happened around here. I know. My husband, we were on strike. We fought for this pit. Oh, did you really? I was on strike. I went on picket lines over there. Oh, was you really? Day in and day out. Well, it's a shame for all the youngsters around here because they've got no jobs. I'm from the Midlands, I'm from Birmingham, so we've seen industry come and go there as well. Yeah. And what's happened, so there's no future for the youngsters at all. Do you think that's influenced the vote for out? I oh, do. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I, I view it personally. Immigration was one thing, but it's, it's not, not the, the major it's not the thing. Main, not the main factor. Because they're trying to say we're racist. No, we're not racist. No, I'm not Asian, racist. I'm British Asian, and I said that, you know, immigration is a bit of a problem. Yeah, there should be some sort of yeah. scheme put in place. I think we should be helping immigrants and I think we should be helping refugees. We oh, should be yeah, doing more for them. Most definitely. You'll get, you'll get reporters come to these areas and the first thing people might mention is immigration because it's been absolutely fed to them day in and day out. Then when they actually uh, get get to the bones of what's happening uh, and talk about the decimation and the lack of hope in these areas, that is retracted and cut out of any footage so it portrays them as racist in the way that they want to portray us. They'd have, when they took uh, working miners in to work, they bust them in and they would have a thousand police on that on there from all over the country, all on over town and all waving the £20 notes at us. They love to wave £20 notes at us knowing we've got nothing and banging the riot shields and laughing. So you wonder, you know, it builds up some contempt between ordinary people and the police. They're quite brutal to be quite honest what they were doing. Where the police came down? Yeah, oh god, they were down here on horseback, riot shields, trungeons drawn, they were kicking doors in and running through houses. Yeah, this is where they came, around all these streets here. Right. Nah. It's, it's the wrong step. It's the wrong what step. What about the people who's running the EU, Stuart? If you're in the EU and you don't like who's running it, you can change it. If you're I not in the EU... you change it from within? By joining them. Yeah, but how do you actually change it when they're, an they're appointed positions they're not even voted in? Like I said, you have to change the system if the system's not working. But if you come out of the system, that's it. But there a lot. some people have come out of the system because they've tried to change it and there's been no change because the people that are running it... Well, try it, a bit harder. The people that are running it are the banks. Well, I believe in Europe, I believe in the world. I don't believe in the EU. I don't believe in the, the big banks and the businesses that's running the EU and uh, the type of thing that they're doing. I don't believe in them enforcing austerity across Europe. I don't believe in them, uh, what they did to Greece. So where we're standing now, like this used to be the library. The library, yeah. The library. So what happened to that? This has Cuts, been closed down. Closed down. It's run by such people as Tim. 
Tim is, comes in every day and works in the library as a volunteer. Yeah. The pits have closed. All our outgoing, the power station closed because my father used to work at the power station. So bit by bit, the all the industrial, the chicken went factory went to, went to France. The sewing factory went. Yes. These are uh, Sarge, um, the um, Stainford Fashions. Yes. All gone. All gone. The the pubs have closed. Yes. And the ones that are left are absolutely on the knees. Yes. I was so happy when I got up on it's Friday morning. Backlash, isn't it? I went, yes! Leave, leave, leave. Right. And this is what we want, isn't it? Yeah, because the EU's imposed austerity. It's coming from the EU because the EU governs governments. And how dare they? I'm so glad we woke up. I'm so glad. Yeah. The but people in it's Britain. It's a revolution. Yes. I've and actually how, woken up. Mm, and how, how do you think it can change? What kind of things would you like to see happening? <sighs> I think it's going to be slow, but we have to have the right people in place. I think that's top priority, of getting the people that are actually going to lead us, the right people in place. What do you think of Jeremy Carbin? Oh, do I have to say something? I was for Jeremy until he said remain. And I thought, how on earth has it come to that conclusion that we should remain in such a terrible... Do you, th do you think after 30 years of him um, campaigning against the EU, that as a leader of the Labour Party, he's actually took the uh, progressive right-wing Labour Party line to appease them? Because I do. I do. And I, I do. think it's backfired dramatically, because yes. I think he had the working class vote. I mean, to see UKIP getting votes, to me, is absolutely appalling, aston astonish. And they did get votes in these areas, and I think they're the traditional Labour voters mm. who had no one to vote for, because they couldn't vote for a Tory Labour no. party. Jeremy Corbyn was pulling out that vote back. I think we've now got a battle. I, I, I will still campaign for him, but he's, he's only giving one more chance mm. now. If he messes up and goes with right wing again, it, he'll not get a vote in these areas. No. And he will, people put the trust in him, haven't they? they? Because of his ideology. I did. Because of his ideology. I did. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you what you voted? Leave. Leave. Can, can you just explain to us why? Well, so I want to come to Britain to be Britain again. What, what does Britain mean, being Britain again? Well, I could control his own country. So that's what it's about? Yeah, yeah. Back from what? What on earth do you mean, Britain to be Britain again? Please explain. You know, is it some kind of sentimental memory that they're talking about? I, I, I don't really know because they didn't explain it to be quite honest, but I just think it's some of these been fed in media. Once again, it's a media narrative, isn't it? Make Britain Britain again. What on earth do you mean by make Britain Britain again? Right, we're going to call in a cafe. Well, I voted out because nothing to do with um, immigration or anything like that. I just want a change. I want a change. You know what I mean? They've, uh, I think the successive governments have gone too far. You know what I mean? And it's all for me about the rich and not about the people at the bottom end of the scale. And I think it needs a bit more equality and a bit more. Well, it needs a big change, and I think this could be it. Yes, I like Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, yeah. I think Jeremy stands for a bit more equality, doesn't he? Um, and I think. Uh, He's going for a tough time at the moment. I don't know whether, you know, but he's going to be, he's, yeah, fingers crossed, he's going to be back in this morning. Um, hopefully he'll stay, as far as I'm concerned. I think he's good for the Labour Party and definitely good for the country. Definitely good for the country. <laughs> Anybody who observes the actions of those uh, people on the horses, clubbing people, with huge sticks and deliberately it's riding the horses into there. crowds of people um, could only come to the impression that they are definitely seriously trying to injure somebody or to kill them. You know, they're our brothers, our, our husbands, our friends, our fathers, and they'll check like that. You know, we were fighting to save our industry, we were fighting for jobs, these communities, when obviously we were beaten down, we were battered and we, we were lot, we lost. And the TUC didn't back us. The leadership of the Labour Party under Neil Kinnett didn't back us, and as a result of that, most miners who were in the Labour Party tore their membership up, and they haven't been in the Labour Party since that 1985. People are angry. It's class politics. 
We're not middle class people who talk about uh, the class struggle and sit round a dinner party pontificating about it, sipping wine and champagne. We did it. You know, it's painful to have somebody commit suicide. Josh has survived it. Um, my nephew, oh. he put the gun, he's got shot through straight through the head and out one temple. He's severely brain damaged, he's blind, his eyes shot out obviously. How he survived, it's a miracle. My brother, he did it in front of my brother. But um, the thing is, you know, young people taking their lives because of poverty, deprivation, and drugs and hopelessness. And uh, you ask, you, we ask, why do they vote out? Because that's all that's left in this area, isn't it? Really, there's nothing left. We can't see hope. We can't see aspirations, we can't see a way out of poverty, and this has all happened within the EU.